So now we have the class about the map info. Okay, this is a map info for fiction software like where we have it. Now it's same similar correlated with the temps map. It's correlated with the temps map what we have it. Okay. So now what I need to do is like first I need to insert the database into the map info. For that, like we have the open button. This is the open button. Like if you click, like you can select the vectors the same into the tab file format. The file should be there in the tab format. There's dot tab, select all and select the current map and do open. Okay. Now once we have what the second thing I need? I need the site database. Now from the site database, how I'll get like we have open button same. Like I can go to the back, like I have two homo site. Alright. Mcom site database. Like we got the complete sites here. <laughs> So these are the complete sites we have. Now what the settings are there, it will open the site data first, it will be in the upper layer. If you are taking the site data in the last, then we will get down towards the vectors here. So what we need to do is, this site data should be there on the map, right? For that, like what we need to do, right click, layer control, like you can find the MCOM sites, it's below the roads, right? So you can make it up below the cosmetic layer. Like you can find here the site. And this site data is not labeled. Is it labeled? No. For label it, right click, layer control, MCOM site. Like you have editable, selectable, and auto label. Let me click only on the auto label. Like I got the site. Okay, now what is the second procedure is that like I need to insert the latitude and longitude. I need to plot some latitude and longitude. So uh, from where we'll get the latitude and longitude? From the optimizer or some any locations if I need to visit, I, need, I should have the latitude and longitude. Okay, now anyone have the laptop? Okay, so now I have the latitude and longitude. If I need to plot it, like I have the tool here, draw tool. I have the tool, but it's not activated. Like it's not like for that. Why it is not? Because right click, layer control. We need to select on a edit table. If I select on edit table, okay. Now this button is activated. Now I can select this, I can put anywhere on the map, okay. Now what I can do is, I'll select the selection tool and I'll double click on it, okay. Now once I put, uh, I need to plot the light long, but here you can see the x axis is totally different and the y axis is totally different. It's not in the latitude and longitude format. So we need to focus this projection into the proper manner. So what we need to do it for, like, Go to the map, go to option, like projection, here the categories are there, here we need to select the latitude, longitude and latitude. Now once I select that, I have the WGS 84, right? the zone should be the WGS 84 and do OK and do OK. Okay, now we got it here, right? Now what I'll do it, I'll double click on this mark, I got it here. <coughs> now let me insert the lat long. If Tell me. 78 point. 78 point. Double four. Double four. Nine double five. Eight. Eight. And. Seventeen point. Three nine eight. Three nine eight. 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 Seven eight nine. Seven eight. Nine. Six. We have inserted the latitude and longitude. Now I can change the style here. Okay. Let me take the style here. Like I'll take any symbol. I'll take I'll take the star symbol here, okay, and increase the size of the symbol because it's very really small. Like we can't find on the map. Now I can change the color as well. Let me select the blue color here, okay. Like I'm taking the blue color here, okay. 
anything I can select. Okay, I need to select the pink cow. No problem. Okay, so now I'll do okay and do okay. Okay, once I'll do okay, now the lat long has visit to that location. We can find this is the lat way I have to visit to this location, right? So if I click okay, okay, now it has point two. And they should be there on this temps map, right? So let me go to that presentation position. Like we can find the map here. Like if I have the map here, now I can zoom it. Around. This is already the cell file is loaded. That is the reason. So I can remove that configuration, channel, cell file, remove all. Okay. So this part, right? Now I need to load the site database. This is the from site, right? If I'll click that, if I'll do OK, I don't get the star there. Why? Because I have it's not saved. saved this star. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for that file, save table, save to them. Got it? Now if I'll see, you can find here. Let me zoom it. Now I can go to this location directly. Right? I can load the vectors as well in whatever the vectors I need. This is the vectors. Select all. We got the vectors. I can go to the particular. If I want to remove it, like I can remove very simple. Just select this and then cut. Right? Like this, whatever the laterals are there, you can. Close and save it. Okay. So right, we can measure the distance. So if we have the ruler here to measure. Suppose if I need to measure the distance from this bit here to this bit here, let us just an example. Okay. So if I want to measure it, like it is getting in a millimeter, right? So what I'll do is I'll make it into the meter for kilometers. Map. Oh, sorry. We need to go to the map. Option like you can find here the distance unit. I can take into the meters. Okay, this should be the square meter, right? Okay, now 550 meter of approximately, right? So, this is the air distance we can measure. Now, other than that, like what we can get. With this help of this tool, we can get the complete information about it. What is the sector? What PS is serving and all. Right? This is the I tool art. Okay? Information tool art. Like you can plot the grid as well. Like any export file is there here? Export file? Yes. Where? Uh, save. 2G. Export. Suppose I am taking one export, right? This is my export. As you know, like how to be thematic in this, right? So now, in this here, if I need to get the grids, I need to focus this, okay? You have here the grid tool. Like you can see here the grid tool, right? So like uh, you can select the grid tool here. You can write how much you location in it. It shows a complete like I'm giving the space of 200 between the lines and should be in the meters. Okay, okay, I got the grid. Okay, right click layer control, make the grid tone. Right, if I don't need some roads here, right click layer control, I don't need to see the roads here. Suppose other roads I don't need. I need. I don't need uh, the street roads. Okay, do okay. Right now, so in this manner, we can plot. As you know about like how to give the thematic. Suppose for example, if I want to go it like you can go to the map. You can go to the thematic map. You can go to the next. You can select for Adam. Right. Rx level. 
Next, these are the things that we can do. Rx folder is there, we have selected. So we can give the color coding and all. Okay? You can go with the more practice, you'll get clear idea. Okay? Change the layers. And what you have about how to make the new site data can you see once with the Excel file to the site tab file? Hmm? Excel file to tab file. For example, like very first, like if I'm working in company, some company, okay, uh, they have given me only one file. This is the same. So let me delete this all. They have given just this file. Suppose for example, text file. Text file. Okay. Sometimes it can be in Excel as well. You can get in the Excel, Excel also. No problem. Okay. So now what you have to do is very first. Once you get the site here. Okay. The same site you have it. So double click on this. So double click on this. So you will got here. Okay. Now I want to remove this part first. Okay. So very first like I can go to the file, close all, discard all, right, clear, now what I will do it, I will go to the information bar here, I will click on the neighbor bar, I'll select it the site databases, like I have this, making new sites we have it, right, so, making new sites, okay, Now here you have the create and updates. Like you can, <coughs> you can select the colors, whatever you want. <coughs> you want it. Okay, so it should be in the gray color to find it clearly. Okay, create it. All the database which we have seen, it's got. Right, we got the site data. Right, if I want to search the particular frequency, let us assume I need to sell, I need to search the frequency number 70. How to search it? Like you have the frequency search tool, just type 70. Very simple, very friendly user software you have. You'll find the same frequencies very happy. Okay, so in this manner, you can go for the complete search now. Some of our candidates have been doubt. Like, uh, if I this one cell site is how much power they are giving, how much signal strength they are giving. If we need to check this, we need to go for the plan. We need to go for the planning. So, that's all for the today's class for the mapping. So, if any doubt, that we will do all the most things. Like, just let me give you some small introductions about the planning. Okay. So, very first, what I should have the proper. Database for it. Let me stop this recording.